everybody. This is kind of like my morning time. I woke up at 5 p.m. I don't like waking up that late in the day, but <clears throat> I got myself situated. I got my shoot sneakers on. I'm going to take Maggie for a walk. Try to continue to stay active as I fight to not let the depression creep in, the symptoms to creep in. Um, so honey, guess what I'm going to do? Make a video. I'm doing that right now. Hey Maggie, did you like your walk? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you went for a good walk, didn't you? All right, so we are watching the the bonfire of Kerf kerfuffle. What is it? We are watching the kerfuffle that is the United States of America, ladies and gentlemen. We are gathered here for this thing we call life. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. The one from the Beverly Hills, the doctor who's going to make you feel good from Beverly Hills. All right, so what I'm going to do is, I've already thoroughly enjoyed this book, by the way. My husband got it for me for Christmas. He's a good husband. I am going to do some skincare, and I'm going to do some mask, skincare. Maybe I'll do my makeup, and yeah. Are you filming you or me? I'm filming you. Oh, hi. Hey, cutie pie. Hey, I want to. Uh, um, uh, hey, we noticed. We just found out. It was been reported on CNN that Trump is the spawn of Satan. <laughs> it's proven fact. They all agree that he is the spawn. Okay, of but Satan. wait a minute. We have to wait for what his ba how his base feels about that because I don't think I think they're all demons. <laughs> they they don't mind if he's the spawn of Satan because they're all demons. All right. <laughs> I'm making myself a body scrub <clears throat> using dollar store this stuff adding salt olive oil baking soda and what was else I was going to add got this also at the dollar store this stuff so yeah so it's got Epsom salts rubbing and soaking so I thought this would be good for a really good um body scrub. Who's lonely? Who's my lonely kitty? Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. I love you. Hey. Oh, I love you too. Are you lonely? Come over here. No? Oh, you're rubbing up, showing off your cuteness. You showing off your cuteness? Uh, got it muted, CNN. And I decided that I'm doing my skincare, and what I'm calling it is get all the draining the swamp, which is my skin. And so, in tribute to this moment of his presidential speech, I'm putting this on. I got this from the dollar store. I just add a little bit of water and uh, just do its thing. I'm going to be sitting here for 20 minutes reflecting on the life that I may never have because of what's going on in our world. And uh, this is what Maggie thinks about the whole thing. All right, listening to our country slowly disintegrating. But, like I said, I'm draining the swamp, my way of draining the swamp, and I'm going to work on my nails. All right, so removing what's left of my dignity with this nail polish. All right, as I continue to purge the evil, I am... I am, I am doing a performing arts piece where I am the country, I am the country, our country, the U.S., and I am purging, um, metaphorically, my face um, to represent America purging itself from evil because it just seems like that's the only way to do it. You just got to feel it. You got to have the vision and... Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. So I gotta wait about 15 minutes. This is this is um, Montana that I'm getting rid of right now. All the evil that's in Montana. I got about 15, 10, 15 minutes. So hang in there, Montana. All right, 
her back. So washed off um, the stuff that needed to be washed off. So hopefully the country is slowly beginning to um, repair itself. But to help it, I have put some I put some like vitamin E mix oil on my face, and then I did the Garnier cold cream. So that's what's happening right now. And I use, I really like working in there. So um, keeps the pores nice and clean and also keeps my skin nice and moisturized. So yeah, so we're dealing with this. This is basically, we're looking at the kind of like the Midwest. This is like the, this is a Rocky Mountain time. No, is it Rocky Mountain? It's past Colorado is basically what I'm saying. I'm saying Colorado to California is being dealt with right now. Um, you know, it's going to be a tough call for uh, the rest of the country. Hopefully, I'll be able to figure out what to do to help the rest of the country. In the meantime, in all seriousness, so they're, they're saying, so I was just watching CNN, and I am not a Trump supporter at all. Um, I grew up in New York City, so that's why. That should tell you everything. Um, nobody in New York City liked him. Nobody. Nobody. So the fact that he became, I mean, it's, anyway, I can't even get into it because it's so traumatizing. Like I'll, I'll, I'll need to talk to my doctor about getting back on Xanax. Actually, I don't take it, but I do take an antidepressant. Maybe I need to increase it. Anyway, so, so they, he, he, Don Lemon, I'm watching him. And let me just say this, CNN is like a circus. They're all these news things are circuses. I really don't have a lot of respect for these people that report the news. I don't think they're very educated. I don't think these people even would hold anything up con compared to um, Walter Cronkite, Edward, Edward R. Murrow, and those people that, you know, when they said something, you could trust it. So anyway, so let, let me just say that. I'm not, I'm not a big CNN. I watch it. I do. Pass the time. Um, but there was a really good interview of um, a Republican and a Democrat. Both of them lived on live on the border of Mexico. So uh, one of them is Texas and the other one was California. And the guy who lived in Texas, he was a Republican, awesome guy. He was great. He's like, you know, you could build a wall from here to, you know, sh sea to shining sea. He says, that's not going to do anything. That's not what it is the the worst of it is the coast guard they only can apprehend 25 percent so i mean you know use technology okay yeah we need border security but that's not building a wall is not going to do it he lives there he knows and for this he, he's also dispelling this rumor that i guess somewhere on the border is just masses of people trying to come he says these are just nice people it's just it's a lovely area it's not and then the other guy that they had He's like, dude, it's San Diego. That's what they're talking about. Have you been to San Diego? Have you seen pictures of San Diego? It's beautiful. He's like, it's not unsafe. It's not droves of people coming through. He said that there was a time back in the 2000s when it got to be a lot, but he's just like, today? No, it's it's not like what they're trying to say as is it being a crisis, so. God help us. All right, so <clears throat> I still got the cold cream. You can't see it because my skin is um, inflamed and so it's really absorbing. So right around my nose area, which I, I'm pretty sure that's um, part of the um, uh, continental uh, past Colorado. I'm not really sure what area in Nevada. Maybe this is like Nevada. It's got a lot of heat. So I got to put some more cold cream on there to calm down my skin. Hopefully I'll get my hair done. Um, I'm going to try to uh, deal with the roots. And yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. I'm trying to stay up. I, I woke up at 5 p.m. I'm trying not to get depressed because I tend to get depressed when I was asleep all day. <sighs> all right, so this is um, the East Coast right up here. I'm working on the East Coast right now, working my way. <sighs> Trying to work on getting my hair back to being pink and uh, yeah, trying to bring hope back into this world after having stripped away, drained the swamp. Get some uh, water. As for you, California.